Ever wondered why your bank account seems to have more exits than entrances? Well, today's video, Things You Should Stop Buying to Make More Money, is here to spill the beans and help you plug those financial leaks. Are daily coffee shop visits draining your wallet faster than you can say, cappuccino? Curious about the psychology behind impulse buying and how to break free from that habit? Wondering if brand name products are really worth the splurge? Well, buckle up, because we've got answers to all those burning questions and more. In this video, we're diving deep into common money traps and offering practical solutions to help you save big bucks. From cutting back on convenience foods to curbing excessive gadget purchases, we've got tips and tricks to help you fatten up your wallet and live your best financial life. So, if you're ready to take control of your finances and start making smarter spending choices, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. First, let's discuss about a little habit that might be burning a hole in your wallet faster than you can say latte. You guessed it, those daily coffee shop runs. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for treating yourself. But when those daily indulgences start adding up, it's time to rethink our brew tyfel. Habits. Picture this, you roll out of bed, stumble to your favorite coffee spot, and shell out a few bucks for your morning pick-me-up. It's become as routine as brushing your teeth, but have you ever stopped to think about the cost? Let's break it down. Five bucks a day might not seem like much in the moment, but over a week, that's $25. And over a year? Well, let's just say you could be sitting on a pile of cash instead of a pile of coffee cups. But hey, fear not, dear caffeine enthusiasts, because I've got a game-changing solution for you. Say hello to the wonderful world of home brewing. Investing in a quality coffee maker and some top-notch beans might seem like a splurge up front. But trust me when I say... It'll pay off in the long run. And let's not forget about the environment, guys. Those disposable cups might be convenient, but they are causing chaos on Earth. That's why I'm all about swapping them out for a reusable mug. Not only will you be saving money, but you'll also be doing your part to reduce waste and save the planet. So, the next time you find yourself reaching for your wallet at the coffee shop, pause for a moment and consider brewing your own cup at home. Not only will you be saving money, but you'll also be starting your day off on the right foot, and that's a win-win in my book. Now let's talk about impulse buying, where that shiny new thing at the store checkout somehow ends up in your cart without a second thought. Ever wondered why that happens? Well, it's like this. Meet Sarah, the queen of impulse buys. Sarah's walking through the stores, minding her own business, when suddenly she spots a flashy gadget calling her name. Before she knows it, she's swiping her card and heading home with something she didn't really need. Now, Sarah's not alone in her impulsive ways. In fact, we're all a little guilty of it from time to time. It's like when you're at a buffet and everything looks so delicious that you end up piling your plate sky high with food you can't possibly finish. That's impulse buying in a nutshell, giving in to temptation without thinking about the consequences. But fear not, my friends, because there's a simple solution to this impulse, buying madness. Picture this. You're at the grocery store, armed with a shopping list and a plan. You know exactly what you need, and you stick to it like glue. No more wandering aimlessly through the aisles. No more falling victim to those sneaky marketing tactics. It's like having a roadmap for your shopping trip, guiding you straight to the items you actually need. And if you're still struggling to resist those impulse buys, try implementing a cooling off period. It's like hitting the pause button on your spending and giving yourself a chance to think it over. Trust me, a little bit of time and distance can work wonders when it comes to curbing those impulsive tendencies. So, the next time you find yourself reaching for that shiny new thing, ask yourself, do I really need this? Chances are the answer is a resounding no, and hey, who knows, you might just find that the best things in life aren't the ones you impulsively purchase. All right, now, let's talk about brand name products. You know, those fancy items that make us feel like we're buying the best of the best? Well, here's the thing. They often come with a hefty price tag. Think about it like this. You're paying extra just for the name on the label. But is it really worth it? That's the question. As the great Warren Buffett once said, price is what you pay, value is what you get. And let me tell you, there's a whole lot of value to be found in those store brand products. 
They might not have the flashy packaging or the celebrity endorsements, but more often than not, they're just as good, if not better, than their brand name counterparts. So the next time you're at the store and faced with the choice between the brand name and the store brand, take a moment to consider your options. Ask yourself, am I paying for quality or am I paying for a name? Chances are, you'll find that the store brand product offers just as much bang for your buck, if not more. And if you're still not convinced, why not try conducting a little taste test of your own? Grab a few different versions of the same product, one brand name, one store brand, and see if you can tell the difference. You might be surprised by the results. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that brand name cereal or shampoo, remember the wise words of Warren Buffett and ask yourself, is this really worth it? I think you'll find that the answer is a resounding no. I hope this video is useful for you. If you want more videos like this, please comment video and I'll keep making them. Now let's talk about something that might be silently nibbling away at your bank account. Unused subscriptions. You know, those sneaky charges that pop up every month, draining your funds without you even realizing it. It's like having a leaky faucet in your finances, slowly dripping away your hard-earned cash. Now, I get it. Subscriptions can be convenient. Whether it's that streaming service you signed up for ages ago or that magazine subscription you never seem to read, they all add up. But here's the thing if you're not using them. They're basically just dead weight dragging you down financially. So, what's the solution? Well, it's time to do a little financial spring cleaning. Take a good hard look at all those subscriptions and ask yourself, am I really getting my money's worth? If the answer is no, it might be time to cut the cord. And remember the title we mentioned earlier? Things you should stop buying to make more money. Well, unused subscriptions definitely fall into that category. By freeing up those funds, you'll have more money in your pocket to spend on things that actually bring you joy and value. But I get it. Cutting out subscriptions can be tough. After all, they often come with promises of convenience and entertainment. But trust me, my friends, the peace of mind that comes with a leaner, more streamlined budget is worth its weight in gold. So the next time you find yourself scrolling through your list of subscriptions, take a moment to pause and ask yourself, do I really need this? Your bank account and your future self will thank you. All right, let's talk about convenience foods. You know, those quick and easy meals that seem like a lifesaver when you're short on time. But here's the scoop. They're not always as friendly to your wallet as they are to your schedule. Picture this. You're strolling through the grocery store after a long day at work, and you spot those pre-packaged meals calling your name. They promise convenience and flavor in one tidy package. But what they don't tell you is that they often come with a hefty price tag. Sure. They might save you a few precious minutes in the kitchen, but trust me when I say, they're costing you big time in the long run. Not only are convenience foods typically more expensive than cooking from scratch, but they're also often packed full of unhealthy additives and preservatives. But fear not guys, because I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to help you kick the convenience food habit without sacrificing taste or time. First things first, let's talk meal planning. By taking a few minutes at the beginning of the week to plan out your meals, you'll not only save yourself the headache of figuring out what to eat each night, but you'll also save a ton of money in the process. And hey, why not give batch cooking a try? Spend a lazy Sunday afternoon whipping up a big batch of your favorite meals and portion them out for the week ahead. Not only will you have delicious homemade meals ready to go at a moment's notice, but you'll also save yourself the hassle of cooking every night. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that frozen dinner or prepackaged snack, stop and ask yourself, is the convenience really worth the cost? I think you'll find that the answer is a resounding no. Now let's get straight into the world of fast fashion. Let me introduce you to Sarah. She's your average college student, juggling classes, social life, and of course, keeping up with the latest fashion trends. Now, Sarah loves a good bargain as much as the next person, so when she sees that trendy dress online for a price that seems too good to be true, she's all in. But as the saying goes, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Fast forward a few weeks, 
and Sarah's eagerly awaited package finally arrives. But instead of the chic, stylish dress she saw in the picture, what she gets is a flimsy, poorly made garment that barely resembles what she ordered. Not only is the fabric cheap and scratchy, but the stitching is already starting to come undone, and don't even get me started on the fit. Suffice it to say, Sarah's not impressed. But here's the thing, Sarah's not alone in her disappointment. The fast fashion industry is notorious for churning out low-quality, disposable clothing at breakneck speed. They lure us in with flashy ads and rock-bottom prices, but what they don't tell us is the true cost of those cheap clothes. From exploitative labor practices to environmental degradation, the fast fashion industry has a lot to answer for. But fear not, my fashion-forward friends, because there's a better way. Instead of falling for the allure of fast fashion, why not try shopping secondhand? Not only will you be saving money, but you'll also be reducing waste and supporting sustainable fashion practices. Plus, you never know what hidden gems you might find at your local thrift store or online marketplace. So, the next time you're tempted by those too-good-to-be-true deals, take a page out of Sarah's book and opt for quality over quantity. After all, as the saying goes, buy less, choose well, make it last. Your wallet and the planet will thank you. All right, let's dive deeper into the world of single-use plastics and why they're such a drain on both our wallets and the environment. Picture this, you're at the grocery store, loading up your cart with all the essentials. When you reach the checkout and the cashier starts to put your items in single-use plastic bags. It's a scenario we've all experienced, but have you ever stopped to think about the true cost of those seemingly innocent plastic bags? Well, here's the cold, hard truth. Single-use plastics may seem cheap and convenient in the moment, but their environmental and financial impact is anything but. You see, every time we use a plastic bag, straw, or bottle, we're contributing to the growing problem of plastic pollution. And with millions of tons of plastic entering our oceans and landfills every year, the consequences are terrible. But wait, it gets worse. In addition to causing immense damage to our world, they're also costing us big bucks in the process. Think about it. Every time you buy a plastic water bottle or accept a plastic bag at the store, you're essentially paying for something that you're just going to throw away after one use. And let's be real, those costs add up fast. So what's the solution? Well, it's simple, really. Make the switch to reusable alternatives. Invest in a sturdy water bottle and tote bag and say goodbye to single-use plastics for good. Not only will you be saving money in the long run, but you'll also be doing your part to protect our planet for future generations. It's a win-win situation. And speaking of things you should stop buying to make more money, single-use plastics are definitely high on the list. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that plastic straw or bag, stop and ask yourself, is there a better alternative? Chances are the answer is a resounding yes. Now let's dive into the world of gadgets and electronics, shall we? Now we all love our gadgets, whether it's the latest smartphone, a fancy tablet, or those nifty smartwatches that can do just about everything except make you breakfast. But here's the thing, guys, those gadgets often end up gathering dust faster than you can say upgrade. You see, we live in a world where technology is constantly evolving, and it's all too easy to get caught up in the hype of the latest and greatest gadgets. But here's the reality check. Do you really need that shiny new gadget? Or are you just buying into the idea that it'll make your life better, faster, and more efficient? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for embracing technology and the conveniences it brings. But there comes a point where enough is enough. As the legendary Steve Jobs once said, Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. And let me tell you guys, being a leader doesn't mean having the latest gadgets. It means using what you have to its fullest potential. Therefore, what should a tech-savvy person do? Well, it's time to take a good hard look at all those gadgets cluttering up your space and ask yourself, do I really need all of this stuff? Chances are, the answer is a resounding no. So why not declutter and downsize? Sell or donate those unused devices and put a little extra cash in your pocket. Not only will you be decluttering your space, but you'll also be doing your part to reduce electronic waste. Now let's have a heart-to-heart -heart about those unhealthy habits that can really drain both your wallet and your health. 
We're talking about the big three, smoking, excessive drinking, and unhealthy eating. Now, we all know these habits aren't doing us any favors, but sometimes it takes a little extra push to kick them to the curb. First up, let's talk about smoking. Now, we've all seen the warnings on cigarette packs. Smoking is bad news for your health and your bank account. But did you know that some of the most successful people in the world have kicked the habit and never looked back? Take Richard Branson, for example. The billionaire founder of Virgin Group was once a heavy smoker, but he made the decision to quit for good and hasn't looked back since. If he can do it, so can you. Next on the list, excessive drinking. Now, we're not saying you have to swear off alcohol altogether, but cutting back on those boozy nights out can do wonders for both your health and your wallet. Just ask Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time. Despite his billions, Buffett is known for his frugal lifestyle and moderate drinking habits. If he can enjoy a glass of wine without breaking the bank, so can you. Next, let's talk about unhealthy eating habits. We all know that fast food and processed junk can seriously harm our health, but did you know they can also damage our finances? Just ask Oprah Winfrey, the queen of media herself. Despite her immense success, Oprah struggled for years with her weight and unhealthy eating habits. But with determination and a commitment to her health, she was able to turn things around and adopt a healthier lifestyle. If Oprah can do it, so can you. So what's the takeaway here? Well, my friends, it's simple. Kicking those unhealthy habits to the curb can not only improve your health and well-being, but also pad your bank account in the process. So, the next time you find yourself reaching for that cigarette, that third drink, or that greasy burger, remember the stories of those who've overcome similar struggles and know that you have the power to do the same. All right, guys, let's talk about something that might be sneaking up on your bank account faster than you realize. Excessive dining out. Yep, we're diving into the delicious world of restaurant meals and takeout treats and how they can seriously dent your budget if you're not careful. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good meal out just as much as the next person. There's something special about having someone else do the cooking and cleaning up for you. But here's the thing. Those restaurant bills can really start to add up over time. And before you know it, you're left wondering where all your hard-earned cash went. So, what's a foodie should do? Well, my friends, it's time to take a closer look at your dining habits and make some changes where necessary. Instead of dining out every night of the week, why not try cooking at home a few times instead? Not only will you be saving money, but you'll also be honing your culinary skills in the process. And I know what you're thinking. Cooking at home can be a hassle, right? But fear not, because I've got some tips to make it easier than ever. Start by planning out your meals for the week ahead and making a shopping list before you hit the grocery store. This way, you'll know exactly what you need and won't be tempted to splurge on unnecessary items. Now, speaking of things we should stop buying to make more money, let's circle back to our video title, Things You Should Stop Buying to Make More Money. And guess what? Dining out excessively is definitely one of them. By cutting back on those restaurant meals and cooking at home more often, you'll be putting more money back in your pocket and on your plate. So, the next time you find yourself reaching for that takeout menu, stop and ask yourself, is this really worth it? Chances are, you'll realize that cooking at home not only saves you money, but also allows you to enjoy delicious meals that you prepared with your own two hands. And trust me, there's nothing more satisfying than that. All right, now let's talk about unplanned travels. You know, those spur-of-the-moment trips that can sometimes leave our wallets feeling a little lighter than we'd like. But fear not, because I've got some savvy tips to help you travel smarter and save some serious cash. First things first, let's talk about planning. Now, I know it might seem like a buzzkill to have to think about your vacation months in advance, but trust me, it's worth it. By booking your trips ahead of time, you can often snag some seriously sweet deals on flights and accommodations. Plus, having something to look forward to can make those dreary work days just a little bit brighter. But I get it, sometimes spontaneity is part of the fun. So, if you're more of a fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants kind of traveler, fear not. There are still plenty of ways to save. Consider exploring less popular destinations or opting for a staycation close to home. You'd be surprised at how much fun you can have right in your own backyard. And hey, while we're on the subject of saving money, let's talk rewards programs. 
Whether it's airline miles or hotel points, signing up for loyalty programs can really pay off in the long run. You'll often score discounts, upgrades, and even freebies just for being a member. So the next time you're booking a trip, be sure to check if you can cash in those points for some serious savings. So there you have it, a few simple strategies to help you travel smarter and save money in the process. Whether you're a planner or a spontaneous adventurer, there's no shortage of ways to make your travel dreams a reality without breaking the bank. So pack your bags and get ready for your next adventure. Your wallet will thank you. Now let's talk about how our love for entertainment can sometimes turn into a money pit. Now we all love a good time, whether it's catching the latest blockbuster at the movies or hitting up a live concert. But here's the deal, those fun outings can really put a dent in your wallet if you're not careful. So picture this, you're sitting in a theater, popcorn in hand, ready to watch the latest flick. Seems harmless, right? Well, think again. Between the ticket prices, snacks, and maybe even some extra goodies, a night at the movies can end up costing you a pretty penny. But fear not, my friends, because there's a way to enjoy some entertainment without breaking the bank. Instead of shelling out big bucks for those pricey movie tickets or concert seats, why not explore some lower cost or even free alternatives? I'm talking about things like streaming services, where you can watch your favorite movies and TV shows from the comfort of your own home without spending a fortune. Or how about checking out some community events in your area? You'd be surprised at how many free concerts, festivals, and performances are happening right in your backyard. And hey, if you're really itching for some live entertainment, why not consider volunteering at a local theater or venue? Oftentimes, volunteers get free or discounted admission to shows in exchange for their time and effort. It's a win-win. So the next time you're tempted to splurge on those expensive entertainment outings, remember that there are plenty of budget-friendly options out there. With a little creativity and resourcefulness, you can enjoy all the fun without all the financial stress. And there you have it, guys. Things you should stop buying to make more money. From daily coffee shop visits to excessive entertainment expenses, these common money pits can really start to add up over time. But fear not, my friends. Because armed with the tips and strategies we've covered today, you'll be well on your way to a fatter wallet and a happier bank account. And for those craving more insights, don't miss the chance to dive into any audiobook of your choosing for free. Find the link strategically placed below this video. You can also find a list of suggested books and where to buy them. Now, if you want to know the seven habits of highly effective people, I recommend you watch this video next. Do not hesitate to share this video. It may help someone. Subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts on today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.